you guys. Today I'm going to share with you my favorite products for February. This month I don't have any skincare or fashion favorites, only makeup. Also, I do have two flops, so I'm going to jump right in. The first thing is the Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. Believe it or not, I've never tried the All Nighter before until now. Previously, I was using the Chill and the D Slick. I never ended up trying this one out until recently because they had a, I believe it was around the holidays, they got, had like a duo pack where you could get two of them for $39 or something. So I just took the opportunity of getting two um, for a really good deal. So I grabbed this and I really do like it. Um, I've tried a lot of setting sprays, high end and low end. And Urban Decay, I just feel like, is the best out there. Um, they, it lasts, it makes my makeup look good, and it's... It's just a really good setting, they have really good setting sprays in general. I, like I said, have the other two and I like both of them as well. So I've been using this one and have been pretty happy with the results. So this is my first favorite this month, the uh, Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. Next is by Essence Cosmetics and it is the Lash Princess False Lash Effect Mascara. I've wanted to try this for a while. Lily from Beauty with Lily got me the Pacifica mascara, um, the one that you can change the settings and twist it. I haven't used that one yet because it's, you know, a little bit more expensive. And I don't know about you guys, but I usually have one mascara that I use during the week for work, and then I have another one where that I use when I just, um, you know, I'm going out or just have more of a special day. Um, so for me, that's the L'Oreal the Carbon Black Mascara, that is what I usually use going out or on the weekends or something. And then I have an everyday mascara, and what I was using was the Rimmel Lash Effect Endless, I believe it was. It's the Rimmel with the black um, bottom and the yellow cap. That was just a everyday mascara. Um, it's inexpensive, just like this Essence one. So this is what replaced my Rimmel mascara because I finally finished it up, figured it was time to throw it away. So I grabbed this one. I'm really excited to try the Pacifica, but I'm going to wait until I um, use up my Carbon Black and then I'll move to that one. But in the meantime, this is what I've been using during the week for work and it's really good. It separates my lashes, it gives me great definition and volume, and it doesn't apply clumpy or anything and yeah I mean I wouldn't go as far as saying I look like I have false lashes but it definitely gives some drama to my lashes that are is very noticeable I'm pretty sure I'm gonna do a review on this so keep an eye out this is once again the Essence Lash Princess False Lash Effect Mascara I think this was $4.99 next is another Essence product I got these at the same time and this is the Essence Cool Nude. It's from their new nude line of lipsticks. So this is number five. Like I said, it's Cool Nude. It's a really pretty everyday color. Um, it's like a mauve color. I would say it's more of like a satin finish. It's not matte. It's pretty pigmented. It's really creamy. And it's just like I said, a very pretty everyday color. Right there. I really gravitate towards mauves and nudie colors so uh, this is really pretty it has like I said a rosy mauve color and it's just something I've been wearing all the time lately once again this is the essence uh, lipstick in cool nude number five next is from my boxy charm from January and it's the Jessica Liebskin vintage um, brand of cosmetics and it's their Illuminating Face Highlighter Set. So this has two colors. It has Rose Gold and it has Chocolate Diamond. They're meant for highlighters. Obviously, um, for different skin tones, the pink would probably most likely work for lighter skin tones and the darker one for darker skin tones. I've been using the Rose Gold as a highlighter on my cheek and I really like it or up my cheekbone. Um, I've been using it down the, my nose. It's a really pretty highlight. The Chocolate Diamond I've been using as actually a shadow in my crease. So this is a really good multitasking palette for me because I can actually use both colors. Maybe not both as highlights, but like I said, I've been using the darker color as an eyeshadow, the lighter one as a highlight. I'm sure I can use the light one as a 
eyeshadow well. I'd probably use it on my um, my lid as a lid color. And in this the summer, I will probably try to use up the darker um, chocolate diamond as a highlight. Not too sure how that's going to work, but I have been using this a lot and I really like it. Once again, this is the Vintage Cosmetics um, Illuminating Face Highlighter Set. And the colors are Rose Quartz and Chocolate Diamond. The last favorite I have is from BH Cosmetics and it's the Gold Rush Eye and Cheek Palette. Last month you saw some items that Colin got me for Christmas that I wasn't loving from BH Cosmetics. And this is something that I actually really like from BH Cosmetics. He got me this as well for Christmas and it is an eyeshadow and face palette like I said. Um, I've never tried eyeshadows from, actually I've really never tried anything from BH Cosmetics. This is my first um, palette that I actually liked because the other ones were kind of misses. And it has a lot of neutrals in it. The first row has a mixture of neutrals and shimmers as well as the second row. And then the bottom has face products. It has a highlighter, a blush, and a bronzer. It's just a really good everyday palette. I wouldn't say it's as good quality as like an Anastasia palette or Too Faced, but it is really good. It has great pigmentation. They last all day. They blend really nice. And I was just, I've been really happy with this palette. I've been using it during the week for um, work. I am going to review it. Actually, I probably may have this up before this. you guys see this video. So if I do, I will link the review below. I believe this palette was like $12. So for a $12 palette, this is amazing quality in my opinion. So I've been really happy with this and I've been using it often. And once again, this is the Gold Rush Eye and Cheek Palette from BH Cosmetics. On to my flops. So I had a couple things that just really haven't been liking. One of them is something I bought a while ago. I was actually in the process of writing a review, but I just decided I wasn't going to do it. And the second one is something I bought recently. So we'll start with the older thing. It's the Peter Thomas Roth Meet Your Mask uh, Six Piece Mask Kit. For It was $25 at Sephora. I got it around the holidays during the sales because I wanted to, I've been, I can't even talk. I have wanted to try some Peter Thomas Roth masks for quite a while. As you know, they're pretty pricey. So I saw this kit and thought it would be a good price to try them all out. And honestly, I've tried all of them out so far and I really just don't think there's anything special about them. Now, that being said, I've only used them each one or two times. But aside from the pumpkin mask that's in here, they're all clear and they go on clear. And I'm someone that likes instant gratification, so I want to see results like that. And I don't really feel like anything happened with any of these aside from the pumpkin en enzyme one. So, you know, you put them on for 10 minutes and you wash them off and I just don't feel like my face felt any different. So I'm kind of disappointed in that because... It's a high-end brand and I just thought I was going to see some amazing results. The gold mask I actually thought was going to apply gold and it's just like a clear with like gold sparkles in it. Um, the Irish Moore Mud Mask was okay. The Gel Cucumber Mask, it felt nice going on. But like I said, nothing, none of them really felt like anything happened when I put them on. Aside from the en pumpkin enzyme which did have like a burning effect and did have some exfoliating pieces in it. Other than that, that was the only one I liked out of here. I'm glad I didn't get the $70 or $75 set, which has all of these but bigger versions. But um, I just wasn't impressed, to be honest. I guess I'm more of a clay mask person or a peel-off mask. Something that I can see the difference right away. So yeah, these, these were a flop for me. Um, once again, these are the Peter Thomas Roth Meet Your Mask set. The last thing is a foundation, and it's the L'Oreal Paris Infallible Total Cover. So for those of you that have been following my blog or YouTube for a while, you guys know that I love the original L'Oreal Infallible um, Pro Matte. And the, what is the Pro Glow I have too, and then so I decided I needed to pick this one up because I have the other two. I love the first one, I do really like the second one. Um, this one unfortunately was a flop for me. It 
I don't even know how to explain it. So one, so in terms of coverage, I would call this a medium coverage. Um, it did an okay at controlling my oil, but it didn't do as well as the Pro Matte, which is my favorite. Um, I don't love the consistency of the mousse formula. I felt like I needed a lot of product in order to cover my entire face, which I don't feel like I need for the other two foundations, the Pro Glow and the Pro Matte. I do feel like it emphasized a lot of my pores on my face and it clung to dry patches and it just, it was a disappointment for me because I do love the Pro Matte so much and I really like the Pro Glow. So yeah, this was definitely a miss for me. Um, so those are all my favorites and flops this month. If you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, post it down below. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And until next time, thanks guys. Bye.